Okay? So, let's look at how to get totally free traffic to any site you want using article marketing the right way. Now, what happens is a lot of the speakers come to me about this particular subject, about article marketing, because it's one of my fortes is with this. So, most people do article marketing the wrong way, and they think it's tough. Okay? A lot of people think that they can't write an article. In a minute, okay? So, this is an article that I wrote. Okay? Uh, I don't know whether you can see that uh, too clearly, but I uh, highlighted some keywords in red. But what happened here was um, somebody uh, produced a product. They launched a product called Twitollower. Okay? And that particular product was um, some software that allowed you to get more Twitter followers. Okay? So I saw this, uh, this product, and what I did is initially I wrote uh, an article about it, okay? to a toller review. Uh, and what I said, what I've done is I highlighted the keywords there in the article. Okay? And importantly, you can see in the title of that article, why, the reason we do articles is because they go out to article directories, and there's certain ways that you can do that that, um, that I teach my students. But what's important here is that you can see the main keyword I was targeting. When I say keyword, this is what people are typing in if they wanted to search for that product. Yeah? It's what they're typing into Google or the search engines. So obviously the product's called Twitollower. They're going to be typing Twitollower in when they want information about the product. So you can see the title of my article is Twitollower Review, Why I Changed My Mind About How to Get Twitter Followers. Okay, and in that article there, in this, the title of that article, you can see that I've managed to do a few things. I've managed to get my keyword in the very, as the very first word of the title of the article. That's what you want to do wherever possible. Your keyword that you're targeting wants to be the very first uh, word of the article. You can see that I've also got other keywords in there that people might be searching for. I've got Twitollower review, because if people want a review of that, they're, they're going to type that in. I've got um, how to get Twitter followers in there. And I've got get Twitter followers in there. Yeah? So I've got several different keywords in that one title, even though the main target keyword I'm targeting is Twitollower. So what you do these days is you would put your main target keyword about once every 125 words of the bio article. or resource box, okay, where you're entitled to put a link to send people to whatever website you want to send them to. Now, it's very important not to waste this real estate of the article there. It's very important not to waste that bit of space. Okay, so you don't, which a lot of people do, you don't use that space to write about how brilliant you are. You know, you don't say, like... Um, Tom is uh, an internet expert who does this, blah, 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 blah. You don't ever do that. No one's interested. Okay? They don't care about what you're good at. They care about what's in it for them. So you use that space at the bottom of the article to tell people what's in it for them. Okay? And it's very important that you also use your keyword in that uh, bottom of that article. Okay, and you can see that I've then got a link to twitollowerreview.com website of mine. Okay, so you can see that if, if, at that time, if someone went in and typed Twitter, the product had only just been launched, and there were 24,800 results uh, on, the, uh, on page one of Google. And you can see that uh, my article there, very quickly, number three, Twitter review, why I changed my, uh, my mind about how to get uh, Twitter followers. It all starts with keyword research, because you need to know how many people are actually typing in uh, the, the keyword that you're targeting. Let's use the Google Keyword Tool to find out, okay? Free Google Keyword Tool to find out. And to find that, you just go to Google and type in keyword select, uh, Google Keyword Selector Tool, Google Keyword Selector Tool, and you'll find it there. And it's free. Now, in this example, this is another example, okay? We're going we're gonna to look at writing an article about the key, targeting the keyword meningioma. So, we, we decided we wanted to write an article targeting the keyword meningioma. And that keyword selector tool shows you there are 90,500 people a month searching for the keyword meningioma. Quite a lot, yeah? Globally. So, I'll have to sort of rush through this a little bit. There are 90,500 people a month searching for meningioma, the keyword. Can we target that keyword? Okay. How much competition is there for that keyword? All right? Let's find out. To find out, you go to Google and you type in all in title, colon, so it's, that's all one word, all in title, colon, and the keyword, in this case, meningioma. That, when we did that, that shows us how many competing pages there are. In other words, how many 
competing website pages have that keyword in the title of their page name. In this case, there were 25,200 competing pages. Anything below 50,000 is good, below 30,000 is better, but we kind of wanted to sort of narrow it down a bit more than that. So we went back to the Google, uh, Google, back to the Google keyword selector tool, and this time we typed in meningioma brain tumor to see how many people were typing that um, a month. And this shows that Google said there was 3,600 people a month globally typing in meningioma brain tumor to try and find information about that. Okay, um, so we, we thought, well, should we target that keyword? So if you go to Google, back to Google now, and you type in all entitled meningioma brain tumor, you find that there are only 181 competing pages for this particular keyword. Okay, makes it a nice keyword to target. 